Welcome back to the Ice Capades. Vector Man number one. We just defeated the zombie pelican mechano bear. And Mel. Yeah. Not these shitty ATATs that do backflips. <laughs> the headless ATATs that were also in Rocket Knight Adventures. We got some. What's going on with Genesis here? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't know. This <laughs> getting our ass kicked. That's what's going on? <laughs> Ah. There's no fall damage, is there? No, there's no fall damage. I think it just fell onto an enemy. Oh. These guys are everywhere. There's some very crappy robots. Oh, check out the yeah. snowfall here. Yeah, jeez. Okay, oh, that's a little intimidating. It's got a, uh... It's got a gun. Not all of them guns. On the, on the head. <laughs> oh, Where? lordy. Where's the TV's getting power from? I don't know. Do -do 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 -do. Right, good thing I'm invincible, otherwise I get fucked up there. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, run up there. No, oh, never mind. Get what to do with that. Was it starting to sparkle? I think that's just shield. Oh. There's something, just some other weapon you gotta get that I probably missed already. Oh, uh, maybe you had oh, to get, maybe you had to get the drill all the way over here. Oh! Whoa! Hello, sir. I'm gonna smash you with my face now. I just have to hit his tail, I think. Huh. Oh. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you are too Talking slow, you idiot! <laughs> You're doing. You this is foolish. not time for dancing. Oh. So these are all different stages of that guy. Oh. oh I, that's, that's so I cool. I forgot about that. Such a badass pose. You can slow down as you're shooting. And but it just looks so cool. <laughs> Boom. Hopefully it's the end of ice and snow. Yeah. Okay. Bamboo mill. Now we're getting to the part where I never really could get to. Did you yeah, ever I mean, this? I did. Dang. I don't remember how, because this is actually pretty tough. <laughs> Uh, we were hardened veterans back then, man. You had to learn from your losses. Game over means you start from the beginning, fucker. Yeah, and it wasn't until, like, I don't know, later gen Genesis that you could save your game. No, I mean, most of them you couldn't, unless it was, like, a, a big one. Some of them had codes as a save state. Yeah, I guess I was just thinking of, like, Sonic 3 and Knuckles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, actually, I remember that. I mean, they would only save what level you were on, wouldn't share. Like, if there's a checkpoint or something, they wouldn't put you there. Still, like, yeah, it's better than nothing. unbelievably grateful for what that was <laughs> at the <Yes>. time. Because, <laughs> what, two did not have that. No. That was, and so was one. One was fucking tough. Yeah, no spin dash? No spin dash. You had to roll no your ass. No tails for an extra hit. <laughs> or to fly you, to have to a two-player. fly two player. you out of trouble. Yeah, man. Was, one was tough. One was actually tough, yeah. Oof. And then the last level in all of them. Actually, no, two and one. On the last one, you had no rings. You had to do all in one hit. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I actually, um. Do you know what parlor beating is? No. Uh, basically, you. It's little plastic cylinders, hollow cylinders that you put on, like, a pegboard. And you make. Basically, you can make pictures with them. And it lends itself really well to, like,. Video game sprites, because it's if you zoom in on sprites, they're like squares, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I've actually made a Sonic Tails and a Knuckles Perler pattern. I'll have to show you. It's it's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> of the classic of sprites. That's fucking. Good. So, it. I, I don't know how to explain it other than to show it. It's just like um. 
They're like seven inches tall. Sonic and the Knuckles and Tails is like, you know, five inches or whatever. Hmm. Let's just splice it on the screen real quick. Oh, okay, that's what that looks like. All right, cool, cool. All right, cool. What's that? Yeah. Oh, oh, just... fuck. <laughs> uh, yes. They're gonna fall for it. This would be great. <laughs> <laughs> How did he know he could do that? Could he do that live? He has no idea. Uh, oh, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, that oh, looks kind of fun. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Yeah. Oh. Egg, sc chicken skull. He's a head shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Shithead. <laughs> yeah, quite literally a shit head. <laughs> Make sure you only mute or uh, censor one of those. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, get yes. that power up. Yeah. Oh, that fucks things up. Yeah. yeah, I think it hits him like three times for every one. A billion times. Yeah, hit him from a distance. It's weird that he's like so shaded, but I guess that's on purpose because like you don't yeah. you you're shaded too. Oh, just okay. Got it. Are it's you like hitting him though? Too. Yeah, I think so. Damn. Ugh. He's not blinking, so I can't tell if I, uh, if I've hit I him. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't. Oh, yeah. Maybe? Maybe? Can you only hit him when he's in the light, maybe? I don't think it's that. Okay. Okay. For real. Kill this guy. Yeah, you just gotta hit it on the face, on the head. Oh, did you look it up? No. <laughs> maybe. No, 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 no. I'm meeting Charles Martinet at the uh, at that con that I'm going to in Raleigh. The Mario? Yeah. Mario? Yeah. Nice. You I know he's in the he's in the new Mario movie, right? He's yeah, he the, had a little uh, he had a little cameo in it. I forget exactly what he did, but I think he was the uh, I think he was the dad, and then he was also like the old Mario that they, they just, like the cameo in the store. Oh, okay. Like he's wearing the original. God. Oh my God. Oh. No. That's it, guys. All right, see you later. <laughs> oh, shit. Now what? Right. Well, uh, we'll just do a quick little cut, and I'll never know the difference. Uh, that gets smart. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Come on, Remember you... There. Uh, I guess you got to concentrate here. I wish we could tell you were hitting him or not. I mean, you could hear it. He just does that every single time. Oh, when when he when he spits up, you've hit him. Oh man, there we go. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, oh, oh. man. <laughs> oh. So you keep him at bay, I guess. You prevent him from gaining momentum as. Yeah. Yes. First time success. Hell yeah, dude. Beautiful. Beautiful. Save that shit. Oh, wow. Oh, he's because uh, you're in bamboo. Now you're now you're a cricket. You fro or a frog. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't know what I'm supposed to. Nope. Oh. 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 Bad start. Oh, and you can't just go. Yeah, it's. <laughs> oh man, that's so douchey of them. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me. Let me go. Please. I beg of you. Oh no. Oh, it speeds up. What are the green arrows? I think it speeds up how fast it goes. 
Oh, and the red ones, or the pink ones, slow it down. Speed. No, the pink ones speed it up. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck. Oh, man, that's rough, dude. Oh, I can shoot! What am I doing? Fuck you! Fuck you, hands! Oh! I can shoot! I thought I had to dodge. <laughs> well, it makes so sense. Good. You're you're a pity, a measly little frog. frog. I wonder what shooting them does. Though. Slows them down. Uh, I think or? you're supposed. To, I think you're supposed to kill the hands. Nah, I, I do remember that. Yeah, you're supposed to kill the hands. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot more simple than I thought. Oh no no! Rock and roller. Won't be a real rock and roll. <laughs> That's an underrated movie, man. Dude, they promised a sequel, and it's never gonna come. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, just keep nailing him like that. You, you gotta be close. Okay, follow me there. Yeah. There you go. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Go. That was weird. Yeah, you did it way faster than this other guy. I feel like it was bugging out. Here we are, level one on a different time of day. Yeah, and that's dusk. You got fire extinguishers from hell. <laughs> You are not welcome here, little robot man. That's pretty good. Oh, Alright, gotcha. That, my friend, is how you do it. Who chose the thermostat? <laughs> oh, a little buggy. A little yeah. buggy action. Can you jump? No, oh. it's pretty useless. Oh man. There's so much going on in this game. This is before the Pokemon warnings. <laughs> yeah, the uh, suicidal <laughs> Cinnabar Island. What? Or, or not, not Cinnabar Island, uh, Lavender Town. Oh man, is do that you, what that was about? Do you, do you remember that? No. Yeah, dude. People were like, in Japan, they were claiming that the music of of Lavender Town, like, On unlocked the a sleeper sleeper agent kind of shit where it would make people want to like commit suicide. Is that like a? I feel like it's a creepy pasta type deal, you know? Yeah, I'm. Yeah. But when you're when you're young, it's like oh, I don't believe man. it. Yeah. And it is a weird song, but... It, it is definitely sense. unnerving, but I don't think it's like a suicide thing. They're, they're going for the aesthetic. Like, yeah, it's a fucking graveyard tower. Lavender Town Syndrome. Creepypasta wiki. Ah, it is creepypasta. <laughs> ah, right. Was peak in suicides and illness in children between the ages of 7 and 12 shortly after the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan back in 27th of February 96. Rumors say that these suicides and illnesses only occurred after the children playing the game reached Lavender Town, whose theme music had extremely high frequencies that studies show that only, only children and young teens can hear since their ears are more sensitive. Due to the Lavender Town tone... At least 200 children supposedly committed suicide, and by many more developed illnesses and afflictions. The children who committed suicides usually did so by hanging or jumping from heights. Those who did not acted irrationally, complained of severe headaches after listening to Lavender Town's theme. <laughs> not creepy. 
Although Lavender Town now sounds differently depending on the game, this mass hysteria was caused by the first Pokemon game released after the Lavender Town incident. The programmers had fixed Lavender Town's theme music to be at a lower frequency, since children were no longer, and, si and since children are no longer affected by it. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's bullshit. I think so too. Creepy, creepy pasta. Yep. Kind of reminds me of the Shinobi level, a little bit. It's hydroponics lab. Yeah. A little throwback honest, from like last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back, back last week when we were talking about the crazy wildfires in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Glad they got those under control. Yeah. Those now they're in Canada, causing pretty... issues throughout the rest of the country here. I've never seen so many air quality events before. Right? And you you would just go out and it would just smell like smoke. It's crazy. Wait, you mean back in the day? No, here, this past summer. Oh, really? Yeah. It just got all the way down there? Yeah. Like, Damn. I there thought it was few, just New York. There, there were a handful of days where, like, you went out and it, you could smell smoke. And you would have like this weird haze, and the sun would look all crazy, all like, orange. Atuini. It was nuts, man. Trippy little boss. Oh, oh, that's creepy. <gasps> DNA man. I uh, throw is, my nucleotides, Jew. This is yeah. Uh, this is what the uh, the guy from Jurassic Park's educational video eventually became. <laughs> yeah. This is the only. I mean, what are you gonna? Could, yeah. What are you gonna do after that one video from? You know, the only work you could find. Park went under. Being a mini boss. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> you got to find uh, work elsewhere. Bingo. Dino here's, DNA. Here's uh, some mercenary work about 2,500 years in the future. <laughs> Gets all head there. Life uh, uh, finds finds a job. <laughs> uh, Vector Man uh, finds finds a way. Nice. Thanks for being with us, and getting us past DNA, man. We will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>